Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to explain how to display the elements of string. So nothing but the string character by character and how to display the string in reverse order using Java syntax. See, so we know how to, how to define a string with the double quotes. We already seen in the last class. Right here, I am taking one string str equals to just whatever the string you can give with the double quotes. Right here, I'm giving that coding. Now I want to display this string in reverse order. How can we display the string in reverse order means character by character. First of all, let me explain how to display the string, right? One by one, one by one, character by character, how can we display? See here, whenever you are creating the string, that string memory representation will be like this, just like an array. And the index starts with 0 to 5. So you have to repeat the loop. As we know the length, as we know the starting point and ending point, always we use a for loop. So first of all, we have to decide which loop. What is the loop you have to select? The for loop. Why? Because means, because we know that starting index and in ending index we know the range that is the reason we can go with the for loop and next one where to start what is the starting point we should start with i equals to zero because for repetition we are using one variable next we know the ending index what is the ending index five that is actually called length minus one string dot length minus one that is the ending point if you collect that length into one variable n just like n minus one right that is the ending point is increasing order or decreasing order is increasing order or decreasing order this is increasing order so modify so that is what i plus plus we use when we use that Increasing that is less than or equals to when we use minus minus that is greater than or equals to right here we know what is the loop we have to use what is the starting point where to start where to end right here we start at zeroth location here we end at last location is increasing order or decreasing order is a increasing order nothing but you are moving in a forward direction so plus plus we are using forward so now based on that we are writing that question so first of all we are finding the length int n is equals to str dot length we are finding the length now we are repeating the loop right for integer i equals to zero this is the starting point and i less than or equals to n, not less than or equals to n. Why? Because here it is when n value is a 6, length is a 6, but index is up to 5 only. So we have to do minus 1 or less than n, anything we can do. Minus 1 and i plus plus. And inside we are printing that system dot out dot println. So how to display means str dot care at of i so don't forget this method without methods we cannot process the data right here what is the first value of i zero so care at of zero will display next i value one the caret of one next i value two the caret of two i value three the caret of three right up to length minus one all characters will display up to length minus one. See, look at this, all values displaying. See, the same thing, I want to display the string in reverse order, just reverse it. All operations in backward direction. So now that loop is the same, but now it should be the starting point and it should be the ending point and it is, it is in reverse order, nothing but decreasing order. The for loop and the starting point starts with the last one that is n minus one ends with a zero 
and this is decreasing order. So modify operator is minus minus, not plus plus. See, whenever you are writing any program, first you have to decide these basic things. So then only you can start the program so that you can easily write the program. First of all, every logic you should able to write on the paper. Multiple times we should not check by executing the program. Keep that in your mind. So whenever we are writing here, now the for loop, we are repeating in reverse order. So int i equals to n means what? 6. 6 minus 1 is a 5 n greater than or equal to 0 up to 0 sorry i greater than or equal to i and next i minus minus decreasing in reverse order then inside doing the same thing so what is that str dot caret of i look at this first n value 6 because 6 characters are present here 6 minus 1 starting with 5. This is fifth location character G. So, first fifth location character G will print. Next, an I value decrease. 6 become 5. I mean, 5, 5 become 4, fourth location element. Next, 4 become 3, third location element. Second location, first location, zeroth location. 0 greater than or equal to 0, true. After that, minus minus means 0 become minus 1. Minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 condition false. So, it terminate. Look at the output in reverse order. It will be displayed. So, this is the way we are printing, printing the given string in reverse order and in the forward direction. What are the things you need to understand once again? First one is a caret method is important. Second one is a length method is important. And next one for displaying that loop is important. In which direction you are repeating the loop, that is also important. If you are just printing the string, print string means what? Always move in forward direction. Just printing in reverse order means what? The same thing, display in a backward direction. Nothing but for loop you should repeat in a backward direction. These are the simple points you need to understand. Right to write these two programs. Hope you understood. Thank you.